Next year in summer we will be installing a large panel with these large Nixie tubes. It will be a huge thing, 5 times 5 meters and there will be 121 of them needed. Uh, at the moment we have the electronics and software almost ready and uh, the last remaining thing is the Nixie tube itself. Over the past year we were making small batches of the tubes like 5 to 10 and we're trying to identify the problems we have and solve them in the next batch. So uh, at the moment we are trying to solve a problem with digits touching each other. If they touch, they, they glow together, like you can see it here on this tube, here. Digits are too large and too thin, so they are a bit flimsy and it's not that difficult to warp them by heat or mechanical damage and uh, cause them to touch. We have a new slightly modified design of the digits. They have some small tabs in between the contours which should make it less flimsy and we also increase thickness of the metal from 0.25 to 0.3 millimeters and we hope that this will add some additional rigidity to the digits so that they tend to keep the shape. We want to speed up the prototyping of the H tubes so we started a cooperation with a local supplier for these etched parts like digits or anode grid. Uh, these parts are etched from a sheet metal. It's quite intricate technology which is very difficult to make correctly. They don't achieve the same quality as the Asian supplier we have but they are able to make the parts faster let's say in a week so uh, we should be able to speed up the work and once we have the the proven design will order the parts from our standard supplier and who knows maybe they will improve the technology so that they can provide us with the same quality we will see before we can use the anode grid for the assembly we need to bend these little tabs here on the manufacturing breakdown uh, is the procedure located here bending of the anode grid and for this task we designed this part to be 3D printed and to be used on a press break.
What you see here is a batch of Puri clocks on testing. Once the clocks are tested, we will clean them carefully and pack them. And they will travel on a pallet to Nick Stock in California. Uh, Nick ships the clocks uh, to our US customers. We started this cooperation roughly a year ago and so far it's it's great improvement of the purchasing process for the for our US customers. The main advantage of this arrangement is that all the import process hassle is done on our side when we are shipping the pellets and then once the pellets arrive we can ship the clocks from Nick locally to the US customers and they don't need to deal with any kind of paperwork. This system works perfectly for us and it makes the purchasing process for the US customers much easier. Tady ty za mnou ty bublinkové, no ty polštářky. Tak.
měli za protože už 